time, Dr. Otherford experiments with invisibility. Dr. Otherford? Dr. Otherford? Oh, do wake up. Dreaming of invisibility again, haven't you? Well, let's see what the Sporran can come up with. A small Pyrex glass bowl. And a bottle of liquid. Ah, uh, it must be vegetable oil. Any type of viscous yellow oil should do. We'll also need a large Pyrex glass bowl. Fill the larger bowl with cooking oil until it is almost full. The sporran does wonders for capacity. Carefully place the smaller bowl into the oil. God, it's vanished! To see why, let's look at a cross-section of the Pyrex bowl in air. Light moves as a wave, and it travels much faster in air than it does in Pyrex. So when the light enters the glass from the air, it slows down, which can also cause its path to bend. This is called refraction, and it's why the world looks distinctly distorted when you look through a curved glass object. It's also the reason why you can see a transparent object at all. But in oil, light moves more slowly than it does in air, and it just so happens that it moves at almost the same speed as it does in the Pyrex glass. Now, because the light does not change speed, it doesn't bend, and so the ball becomes invisible. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor Otherford? Hello? 